In this session, we will provide an introduction to this module and to the subject uh, of business ethics. Why business ethics is important and also we'll discuss sustainability, a key goal for business ethics. So this will be the focus of the session today. Okay, the concept of business ethics began in the 1960s as corporation became more aware of a rising consumer-based society that showed concerns regarding the environment, social causes, and corporate responsibility. Since that time period, the concept of business ethics has evolved. Business ethics goes beyond just a moral code of right and wrong, okay? It attempts to reconcile what companies must do legally versus maintaining a competitive advantage over the businesses. In a nutshell, we regard the subject of business situations, activities, and decisions where issues of right and wrong are addressed. So that's the basic essence of business ethics. It is worth stressing that by right and wrong, we mean morally right and wrong as opposed to, for example, commercially, strategically, or financially right or wrong. Moreover, by business ethics, we do not mean only commercial businesses, but also the non-governmental organizations, uh, the government organizations, pressure groups, non-profit, uh, business charities, charities, and other organizations. For example, question of questions of how to manage employees fairly or what constitutes deception in advertising are equally as important for organizations, okay? So it's important for all different organizations. It's not only for commercial organizations, okay? So having defined business ethics in terms of issues of right and wrong, one might quite naturally question whether this is in any way distinct from the law, okay? Surely the law is also about issues of right and wrong. This is clear there. This is considerable overlap between ethics and the law. In fact, the law is essentially provide codes of ethics into specific social rules and regulations. The law might be said to be definition of the minimum acceptable standards of behavior. So that's the, that's the minimum behavior which is acceptable. However, the law does not clearly covers every possible ethical issues in business or for that matter outside of business. So it's clear that the law does not cover everything. For example, just as there is no law preventing you from being unfaithful to your significant other, although this is perceived by many to be unethical. So there's no law in many countries preventing businesses from testing their products on animals, selling landmines to oppressive regimes, or preventing their employees from joining a union. Again, issues that many feel very strongly about, okay? So there's, law does not cover everything. This, this, this is what the gray areas, we call it in business ethics language, okay? So similarly, it is possible to think of issues that are covered by the law, uh, but which are not really about ethics. For example, the law prescribes whether we should drive on the right or the left side of the road, although this prevents chaos on the roads. The decision about which side we should drive on is not an ethical decision as such. So, so it can be said, like you know, business ethics can be said to be to begin where the law ends. So this is the very strong, important point of um, this lecture. You know, the business ethics start where the law ends. Business ethics is primarily concerned with those issues not covered by the law. So this is a very important point in in this lecture. Okay, or where there is no definite consensus on whether something is right or wrong, and that's what makes business ethics a very important subject. Okay, so discussion about the ethics or practical, uh, particular business practices may eventually lead to legislation once some, once some kind of consensus is reached. But for most of the issues of interest to business ethics, the law typically does not currently provide us with the guidance. For this reason, it is often said that business ethics is about the gray areas of business or where values are in conflict. I think the conflict part is very important. 
So this is where business have to make choices about right and wrong, okay? Okay, so business ethics is more than just a concept used to enhance the image of a corporation. Ethics are the very foundation of success. Business ethics should be applied from the very moment a firm opens its door, okay? So business ethics actually consists of the action of individuals working within businesses. Business ethics help ensure a good reputation for your company. And so one might say why it's important. So it's important because of the reputation of the company. Not only does it feel good to be part of a company with a great reputation, but it's great for businesses when you have a reputation for consistently being ethical in how you source and build products and treat employees, customer and the community. More people will want to do business with you if a business is being ethical to their wider stakeholders, okay? Even social media ethics is important for your reputation, for your business reputation, okay? Other advantages are good ethics at a business start at the top. If you are a business owner or manager, it's important to lead by example. I think the leadership, they set a really right example when it comes to business ethics. When employees see you make ethical choices, it lets, you, it lets them know that they can have confidence in the company. They know that you'll do right by them and your customer. This boosts the morale as word spread about how you treat employees. Well, you'll draw in good workers. So they, they, it becomes you know good reputation uh, tool for any company, okay? Having strong employee retention rates will help you save money over time on recruitment cost and training, okay? Other advantages are business, businesses that practice good business ethics face less risk for fines and other legal troubles. Sure, the law and regulations are complicated, but a lot of trouble can be avoided just by doing what's morally right. So that's a very strong point. If business de decisions are made with that in mind, you can save the stress of having to defend your company against lawsuits and fines. Overall, when exec executives and employees at all levels of a company make good ethical decision, it's good for the company, okay? All these factors above help the company grow, have bigger profits, and a strong bottom uh, line there, okay? So the, the other concept is very important. Business ethics, you know, the, the concept of sustainable development is very famous now. And it can be interpreted in many different ways, but at its core is an, an approach to development that looks to balance different and often competing needs against, uh, against an awareness of the environmental, social, and economic limitation we face as a society. There's so many problems in this society, climate change, environmental, peoples, all that. So that's why the three aspect was really uh, important. All too often, development is driven by one particular need without fully considering the wider uh, or future impacts. We are already seeing the damage this kind of approach can cause from large scale of financial crisis caused by irresponsible banking to changes in global climate uh, resulting from our dependence on fossil fuel based energy resources. The longer we pursue unsustainable development, the more frequent and severe its consequences are likely to become, which is why we need to take action now because of all these problems, you know, climate change, ETC. The concept of sustainable development was born from the need for business to address the growing and changing environmental challenges facing the planet, okay? In order to do this, businesses must change to protect and help the planet. And people so people planet profit are the three main core for modern businesses they have to work on these three areas on the other hand sustainability is most often defined as meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs it has three main pillars economic environmental and social these three pillars are informally referred to as people, planet, and profit. The environmental pillar often gets the most attention. Companies are focusing on reducing their carbon footprints, packaging waste, water usage, 
and their overall effects on the environment. Companies have found that have a benef uh, they have found that there is a beneficial impact on the planet can also have a positive financial impact if they do more things for the environment it can also impact on the company's financial position okay lessening the amount of material use in packaging usually reduces the overall spending on those materials so which saves the company the money so for example walmart keyed in on packaging through their zero waste initiatives pushing for less packaging through their supply chain and for more of that packaging to be sourced from recycled or reused material okay so this really saved the company a lot of money and it helped them to like you know, actually be more sustainable but also save money in terms of social pillar which is also a very important pillar of this whole debate the social pillar ties back into another poorly defined concept social license okay a sustainable business should have the support and approval of the employees stakeholders and the community it operates in so business they operate in a right to society so it, there should be approval taken from from those stakeholders okay the approaches to securing and maintaining this support are various but it comes down to treating employees fairly and being a good neighbor and community member both locally and globally this is a very important point that business they should be a better citizen in in the society okay the third pillar is the economic pillar, okay? To be sustainable, a business must be profit profitable. That said, profit cannot trump the other two pillars. In fact, profit at any cost is, is not at all what the economic pillar is about. Activities that fit under the economic pillar include compliance, uh, proper governance, and risk management. While these are already table uh, stakes for most um, American companies or UK companies, they're not globally, you know, uh, right. It should be clear by now that whatever else we may think it of, business ethics clearly matters and it really does matter for all type of organization and for all the countries. It matters not just for huge multinational companies or I mean, uh, multinational companies like McDonald's, Nestle, Shell, H HSBC, oil and gas, different organs, but also for a range of other types of organization. Some of the issues will inevitably be rather similar across organization types, uh, while others differ considerably. For example, if we look at the differences across industrial sector, it is clear that some issues are simply more important than others like in oil and gas companies the the concern they're more worried about environmental you know footprint pr footprints and the banking they are they're worried about you know having a proper relationship with their you know customers there so overall um, i'm sure the this you know introduction the video gives you a better information about what is the business ethics and uh, the idea about sustainable development. And I hope this really helps you in terms of thinking about different debates around going around business ethics, okay?